Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I had a video. I figured this would be a really good time to make one right now. This is a, uh, let me turn down the radio. Not really not anymore. Uh, this is a John Deere 120. Is it 71 or 72? And uh, this actually might be mine. Uh, right now it's Jason's and he brought it over for me. Uh, the original plan was I was just going to borrow it from him. Uh, it came with a snowblower, which I'll show if that's in the woods. I took it off. Um, I was going to use it in the winter, since I don't really have a good blower. But I, I'm thinking about buying this from him. And, uh, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I said it's from 71. I got some work to do on the hood, because it's not really attached. Uh, it's got the 12 horse cast iron cooler. It's pretty much the same thing that are in the uh, all the other ones. 210s, 300 series. I think the 300 series is the same thing. Um, this battery is not the right one and it's kind of cobbed. But uh, got the electric PTO. And uh, if you guys know anything about 120s, this is all hydraulic. So hydraulic lift and hydraulic hydrostatic transmission. Uh, the only other thing is it leaks oil at the bottom of this dipstick here. But let's just see this thing run. For a while I had to run it with full choke, or with half choke. And now I don't really have to. I might not have to use any choke to start now. That's pretty good. I think you guys have seen this in other videos. I think it drives really nice. I love it. Will Moen. Oh. That thing's been running pretty good if the uh, tractor hits. The neighbors now. So I got a little work to do to it, but it'll be a good running tractor. And uh, I was kind of thinking about with this one. This one's been not really doing so good. It leaks oil. Probably even see it. Uh, uh, see how it leaks oil everywhere? It's leaking pretty bad, dripping. There's drops of it everywhere. Uh, hope maybe fixing this and when I uh, go off to college I won't really be using it so I was going to give it to my girlfriend and between her and my brother I guess they can uh, you know share it and do the lawns and whatever but they kind of need one so I was just going to either give it to them or sell it to them really cheap after I fix it up a little bit. The muffler is currently not on it because uh, it's cracked right there so I got to get that welded. The shed is looking pretty good, except for the bench. So that's the 120. Here's Massey. I gave one of the headlights to Will because I have another one I'm going to put on here that matches this. The other one didn't match. This thing runs pretty good. Uh, it had been sitting for a month at one time because I uh, finally got a new belt for it. I just had to kind of waiting on that belt. It, it was hard to start, but it started. Just ran this today. I ran every tractor today, which is good. It's been a while. I got caught up on some of the yard work around here, which is good. I don't really need to do a whole update video, but got that mower frame over there, not going to rewards. And I think that does it, except 
for my father's, which I think we'll starting right now. And battery's dead. I'll be right back. Well, here's the snowblower for the 120. And uh, this was on Jason's 140, which is pretty much the same thing, except it's got 14 horse motor, bigger wheels, bigger tires. Uh, I think, well, I think he put bigger tires on it, but it's just, a little, I think, a little more beef here. It's got more, two more hydraulic uh, cylinders. Um, this thing, it worked pretty good on that last year, so I'm hoping it'll work good on the 120. It should. Um, I, I liked the way it worked. Uh, the only thing that's a little finicky is this, this here, but I'm not really worried about that. It's not the biggest deal. It's got the belt and everything for it. But I guess that's all I got for today, so I'll try and, I'll catch you guys later. I'll do some more videos coming up.